guys, welcome back to my channel for you guys that don't know. My name is Stephanie and today I'm so excited to be taking you back to the motherland, Vietnam. So I'm here taking you guys on a food adventure. So we're going to hit up Saigon, Da Nang and Hoi An and we're going to eat and sweat our way through the country. So let's get eating. Good morning everyone. So we're in Vietnam today, or in Saigon. So I'm so excited for all the food we're going to eat. The first place we're hitting up is a place that has Ho Tiêu Mê, which is basically like, yeah, noodles, <laughs> dry noodles, and we have here inside, it's like a sweet and tangy kind of sauce, and here I got duck beak, which is special, meaning it has everything in it, so we got prawns, we got pork, and all the kinds of goodness inside, and I'm so excited to eat this kind of food. We also got some pate sol, which is like a pastry, a flaky pastry, and inside it's got some minced meat. So what you do is you basically just combine everything together, we got lettuce, We've got bean sprouts, and then I always recommend adding a little bit of lime. So we're gonna add some lime to give it a little bit more tang. Let's get eating! Yeah, I'm so hungry. This is one big bite, guys. It's takimas. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Do you see? My sweat moustache. Mmm. Gosh. It's so sweet and tangy. Oh. This is the good shit. <laughs> mm. This is what I've been missing. The noodles are like not so firm, they're almost chewy. And yeah, the sauce is just so good. It's that sweet sauce. But sometimes, yeah, I definitely recommend lime because it can get kind of sickening after all that sweetness. Look at this part there, so it's so flaky and buttery. And let's eat it! Mmm! 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 Oh, layers! Mm. Next up we hit up Jerban Tan, which is one of the most popular markets here in Saigon for souvenirs But I'm here for the food <laughs> One of my favorite Vietnamese desserts It's a bun phuong, which is basically like a flan And here Vietnam does something different Instead of putting caramel in it, they actually put black coffee And as you can see, some ice and some... I think it's coconut cream But it's melting, so let's eat it Mmm! Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It needs more coffee. Where's the coffee? But the flan itself is really nice. It's got that eggy custardy kind of taste and the texture is nice and firm. Mm. I just want more coffee. Where's the coffee? Hidden in the alleyways of Saigon is this amazing pho place called Pho Minh. Guys, this place has one of the best pho's that I've ever had in my whole life. And all of it that we ate today was less than four American dollars. Like, so cheap. I can't believe this place exists. All right, so our next stop here on our Vietnam food adventure is at Pho Minh in Saigon still. So here we have Pho Duc Bic, so it has like beef and everything good inside it. But this space is extra special because it also has Bacca Sol and these ones look so much better than the last ones that we had because they look fresh and extra crispy. So I'm super excited to dig in. So this one we've got all the rau, which is like all the greens. So what you do is you grab a couple and then you just shred them up and they'll add like a bit of freshness so it's like nice and firm as we say in Vietnamese. Okay. So you can eat it like this or if you're like me, you want to put it in some sauce. It's a bit of chili, a bit of hoisin, a Mmm. It's so tender. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That's so good. Oh. It's so good. Next up, let's try the pate sol. So, already you can tell that it's so much more crispier. It's still warm, which is really cool. Alright, let's get it. Mmm. Mmm. What's this? Mm. Oh no. <laughs> Casual dude, that's how flaky it is. Mmm infinitely better. It's so flaky and so buttery and so fresh. This shit is legit. I still wish there was more meat. What's with Vietnam and not having enough meat? Mm. 
Mmm. That's actually pretty good. Because it's so crispy, it still maintains its texture. And super so fragrant. Vietnamese street food is unreal guys, like we stumbled upon this place which has pork crackling for two dollars so of course I had to get it. <laughs> As you guys can tell I am dying in this Vietnam heat, I'm so sweaty but I had to go get some hair away which is just pork crackling and then he gave us a whole bunch of like rau which is like different kinds of like mints and stuff like that to eat with it but I want to eat one plain by itself. Oh my gosh, not like I'm hot enough already as it is. Mmm! Mm. I love Vietnamese mints. They just add some freshness to it. Oh. I'm melting. I need aircon. The next place we hit up is called Huân Hoa, which was actually a recommendation from one of my mates back home in Australia, so I had to check it out. Alright guys, I gave up. I couldn't stand the bloody heat. I was absolutely dying out there. I don't know if you could tell, but I was melting away, so I've actually taken a shower and washed most of the makeup off of my face because, yeah, it was not cute. So instead, I'm in my nice air-conditioned hotel and I'm ready to eat because I'm so hungry. So this bun meat, Holy moly guys, it's huge. Like, in, for reference, this is my face. <laughs> it's enormous. And then inside, it has like, you know, meat and pate and pork floss, and then you add your own condiments as you like it. So I added everything and even a little bit of chili. So let's get to it. This is so big. Oh, oh, oh. But it's okay. I feel like I need another bite because I just got the butt of the bread. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's really good. So many different layers here. You can see all the different kinds of, you know, sliced pork meat. You can see the cucumbers and whatnot. Mmm. Look, I'm a bit of a bun me snob. Overall, it's pretty good, but it's not as good as the one that I have usually back in Australia. So, pretty good. What the hype? I, I think it's one of the better bun meats that I've had. Mm. It's just, the bread lets it down. Mm. But everything inside is really good. Like the pork floss is yum. The pate is yum. The sliced meats are thick. Mm. Mm, this is a big boy. Next! As everyone talks a big game about pho, but this is actually my favorite noodle dish from Vietnam. It's bumbo way, which is basically like a spicy noodle dish with thicker noodles. And then I got everything in it. So there's kind of like, you know, meat cakes in here and lots of different herbs. And oh, I'm so excited. So, a sign of a good bum way is actually if you start sweating, which isn't hard to do in Vietnam, but I'm slightly cooler now that I'm in an air-conditioned room, but I'm excited to see if I sweat. Let's get it. Mmm! Uh, mmm! I can taste the spice. Mmm! Mmm! Meat's a little chewy. I think overall I could do with more heat, but mm. oh, it burns. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Next. So this is one of the first desserts that I've got today, and I think it's like a sticky rice with sweet beans and coconut meal. Oh, it smells like sugar. I'm so excited. I don't remember the name of this. I have to ask my mom. <laughs> But I remember it tastes good. Mm. When she gave it to us, the coconut milk was nice and hot, but I've left it a bit long, so it's a little bit cold. But it looks so good. Hopefully it tastes as good as I remember. Mmm. Mm. That coconut milk is killer. It's so sweet and rich. And the texture is so nice. 
Like I love biting into the sweet bean and getting an explosion of flavor. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. You can't really get this wrong. It's just mm. reminds me of home. Next. All right, so there's always space for more desserts. So I've got here Jeba Mel, which is a three color dessert drink. It's really popular in Vietnam. And basically, I think it's like a creamy kind of texture, milky kind of texture with like jelly. And then they call this green one like jelly worms, and like all these different kinds of things inside. It's basically a sugar overload. Mmm. Mm. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be. I have all different kinds of things in here. And they all give it like different tastes and texture as well. Mmm. Mmm. I wish it was sweeter. It's probably a good thing it's not. I've been eating so much. All right, now that it's cool enough for me to actually leave the hotel, I'm here at Ivory to try some of the most beautiful desserts that I've ever seen. I mean, look at them. All right, so we're here at Ivory and they have one of the most beautiful desserts that I've ever seen, not only in Vietnam, but anyway, I mean, look at this peach. Look at this peach. I'm super excited to try this. And here we have strawberry and it looks like I'm gonna step you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but they have so many different aesthetic desserts and I'm so sad because we came too late so yeah unfortunately we weren't able to get any other things but you know if I had more time I'd come back but I don't so super excited to have this peach so without anything to do let's get eating so oh my gosh I'm so scared <gasps> cute look at it wow that is so beautiful The peach is so fresh. The cream is so light and delicate. And then the crispiness of the white chocolate shell, the crispiness of the right, the crispiness of the white chocolate shell is actually perfect. Yeah, it's actually really good. Can I? Can you see? There's a like pastry inside. I definitely taste the sweet pastry. Mmm, it's like a strawberry jam inside. Also really good. I don't know. They're both really good. They're different in different ways. This one has a bit of a tartness to it. Oh, oh is she so good. All right, guys, that's it for the Saigon part of this food adventure here in Vietnam. Next up, I actually hit up Hoi An and Da Nang, which is middle of Vietnam. And I'm super excited because I really haven't explored those areas before. So you're going to watch me stuff my face with more food. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, thanks, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm so sweaty. Put on my sweat. It's so bad.